was ringing again. Somehow I sensed it wasn't Zane this time. Hello? Hello. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch either. Huh? You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. The dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza. To help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. I follow the steps he laid out for me. Alice's photos from the talk show building basement. Adi had guided me there. I bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue. I'd been here many times before. I didn't know how many. This felt different, like my last chance. But wasn't already too late. Too late? Scratch was in there, writing his horror story. There was still time to stop him. I needed to get inside.
monster just keeps coming back. Every night. Like waves hitting the shore. I'm... I'm so tired. He's here all the time now. There's so much rage inside of him, I can't stand it anymore. God, I tried so hard. I can't. I can't. made a decision. Most of you won't understand. People call me an artist. But I don't care about any of that. I just wanted to show the world what I see. I can't keep going like I have been. It's time for a perspective shift. To go from photographer to subject. From artist to art. Dead. Scratch tortured her until she couldn't stand it anymore. Until she broke. And all that time, she thought it was me. Scratch was still here. He hadn't escaped the dark place yet. He was scratching my edits out of return. <laughs> I had seen this before. This was not Scratch. This was me. Caught in a loop. I had stopped myself trying to fix the manuscript. I was the one haunting Alice. It was always me. I killed her.
Are you okay? <gasps> no! It's my fault! He got out with my face! Scratch! That night I found Wake here. He appeared because of this. The summoning. That was Wake. Scratch wasn't pretending to be Wake. They're the same person. Bitch. He's here! Scratch! Watch out, Anderson! Estevez, Scratch is Wake with the dark presence inside him. He wants the clicker. Change of plan. I'll lure him to the cell. When we're inside, lock it and blast it with all you got. feels a little less bright. Tom, we need to get to our next gig. We're doing this for you. 
and our lovely Saga. You take care of things on this side. Don't screw it up, Tom! I'd seen it all play out. Like a horror movie I'd been forced to watch. The Dark Presence held all the cards now. Welcome back, Wake. You are Wake now, right? With a shadow out of you? Some good news, at least. Bad news is, I haven't seen a situation this fucked since the AWE in Eagle River. The shadow's now in Alex, and Anderson is gone. We need to figure out how to salvage this. I'll do anything it takes to fix this, Agent Estevez. I'm the reason this is all happening. It's never that simple. But I should have put you in a box and shipped you off to a containment facility the second I laid eyes on you. The only question now is... Are you able to fix this? I can try. Not the most encouraging answer, but we'll make it work. What's the situation? I've never seen an entity break a bureau containment unit like that. And now the Dark Presence is occupying Agent Casey? When it attacked him in the woods, it must have been preparing for this. And now he has the clicker. Scratch. The Dark Presence inside Casey. It threw Saga into the lake. If she ends up in the dark place, she could be there forever. It took me 13 years to get out. Zane never did. Tor and Odin went in after her, right? Maybe they'll get her out. With the power of rock and roll. I saw them when I was trapped there. They performed in my musical. I'm immediately less optimistic about this. Scratch will go to Bright Falls and use the clicker to bring about the horrific ending he wrote for Return. But I can still fix this. How? Scratch must have the manuscript. If I can read the ending, I can rewrite it. I need to go after him. Well, you won't get very far without these. This plan is a real Hail Mary, Wake. I wish I could help, but this is all on you. I got you every kind of weapon we have available. Don't fuck it up. I needed a car. The FBI vehicle would be at the parking lot. I was awake again, clear-headed for the first time in what felt like a lifetime. I was back exactly where I left. A dark forest outside Bright Falls. A gun in one hand, a flashlight in the other. Haunted by my own writing. Alice taken from me. I knew what I had to do. Stop the horror story from coming true. Stop the dark presence.
the dark place, the dark presence moved under me. When I was pulled back here, crossing over and weakened it, made it dormant. I couldn't remember what had happened, but I could feel it getting stronger, waking up. I thought it was haunting me, closing in. It was inside me the whole time, and then it took over. Turned me into scratch. I had to get to Bright Falls. See the... I brought Saga Anderson into this story to help me escape. She succeeded. It cost her everything. I'd used Alex Casey in my writing for years. The real Casey had been drawn here because of that. Now he was a victim too. Saga. Casey, Alice, all this horror originates from me. It's my fault. Scratch had to be stopped. I've driven down this road before. Been driving on it forever. If Scratch had brought the dark place here, this would take me back inside. In 2010, I had dived in, a leap of faith for Alice, with no idea that the cost would be a nightmare worse than death. It had taken me 13 years to get out. Now Alice was dead because of me. And I was gonna make that leap again, this time knowing the cost all too well. the dark place here with me. I never had gotten out. Maybe after this I finally could. It was a fool's hope. I had no choice. I had to do it. That didn't make me any less terrified. Expected. Alan Wake is this generation's greatest storyteller. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ilma Koskova, and welcome to the Koskova Brothers Book Club. This week, we will review the highly anticipated new novel by Alan Wake, Return. Return is printed on a firm, high-quality white offset, uncoated paper stock making every page a true delight to turn in your fingertips. Alan Wake's brilliance is on full display with his choice of a hardcover book jacket made of a premium enamel stock with gloss lamination that is both tasteful and pleasant to the touch. Isn't that right? Wake set a high standard with his previous novels, but I can say without hesitation that Return contains the best and most compelling book description on a back cover that I have ever read. This book blurb is truly riveting and will keep you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. 
It is accompanied by a tasteful photograph of Alan Wake's home here in Bright Falls. The book weighs one pound and three ounces. Return is a true masterpiece. I'll give it a perfect score of five Alma beers out of five. How about you? There you have it. Alan Wake has done it again. This was the Costco Brothers Book Club. Cheers. I needed to get a copy of Return. I needed to read the ending to have a shot at changing it. I was inside Scratch's ending, a perverse version of reality. The townspeople brainwashed. Everyone and everything revolved around Return, as if it had just been published. of the writer's room in the photo. That's where I had to go. To rewrite the ending of Return. It's a sick, sick story! Oh, shit. I could get out through the back. I had the book now. I could write my ending to return. I had to get to the writer's room to stop this horror story. This was an obsessive, egocentric nightmare, all revolving around a vain monster of a writer and his final divine work of art. The novel return come true. It wouldn't stop here. It would keep spreading. I needed to reach the writer's room. Write a new conclusion. Was Scratch's insecure need for fame, for praise, drawn from my psyche? I would bring his sick fantasy crashing down around him. Alice? What was that? Alice was dead. Was this a trap? Or was Scratch torturing me? Diner, how are you here? <laughs> I'm here to save you, silly. I got your instructions. I found every hidden message you left for me. In the radio, in the wind, in the forums on my Alan Wake fan site. What? No, Rose, I haven't been leaving you any messages. Oh, I get it. 
Yes, Alan, only a crazy person would think you've been leaving them secret messages. <laughs> Wink. But now you need to get your butt upstairs, Alan. This shit won't write itself, no matter what William Shakespeare said. Right. Thank you, Rose. I'll do what I can. Upstairs. The writer's room must be in the attic. That's where the windows were. around and come to cater, Tom. I have put everything ready for the visitors. I'll come to wash the floor of your room next. All you need is water and pileda. Water is the oldest pulp. Water finds its way. What water brings, it takes away. It can be clean or dirty. It can give life or drown it. Akti. I didn't expect to see you here, but it makes sense. Can you help me find my way? One last time. Mm, now there's a devil in the fist trap. Don't be spooked by it so that shit won't start beating your end offense. Okay. I'll get the door open for you, Tom. There you go. The matter is a stake. Now comes the end of the rhyme. Thank you, Ahti.